the NBA on 2K Sports. And tonight, it'll be the Indiana Pacers going up against the Milwaukee Bucks. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and coach Mike Fratello. On our sideline, David Aldridge. Coming down the home stretch of this NBA regular season, go. Coach, what is most important for teams to focus on right now? For the teams that are contenders, I would say to make sure they peak at the right time. And for teams moving down into the standings, look to experiment some with younger players. See what you have. Getting it done inside. I like watching guards like Henderson find ways to score down low. And that one's good, the dude. You know, you'd think the height mismatch would run him off the perimeter no sir didn't happen there takes more than just some extra inches to deter him he was committed to getting his shot now here's Williams back to Anderson three-pointer here's Johnson it's another look and the layup is good right now it's simply the second shots that are killing them I mean they've got to do a better job securing the miss after playing solid defense and it's so deflating giving up a score like that work hard to force a miss and then it's all for nothing way to work the glass buffet style second chance bucket they can make a big difference Henderson passes to James Indiana moving the ball around Henderson finds Johnson. At the top of the key, Reed. James trying to free himself up. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. The Bucs have gone two or three here to start out the game. Here's the dude. Bangs home the trifecta. The dude's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Bucs. Already five lead changes here. Speaks to how evenly matched these teams have been thus far in my mind, Kevin. You'll get tons of that from Henderson. Has a great feel for where his guys are on the floor. Bucks have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Here's the dude. It's tipped. And oh, here we go with Henderson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. He forced the contact and almost converted the basket. About as close to an end one as you can get. The Pacers shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. No good on the free throw. He's only six foot one, but Henderson is a wonderful athlete and a tenacious defender. And he sinks the second. Here's the dude. He had a career game last time out. Bucket after bucket. From the arc. They get it back. Johnson pass to Kersey. Here's the dude. Takes the three. That shot off. Excellent defense there from Henderson. The Pacers have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Can't hit that one. Milwaukee's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Moncrief the pass to the dude. The three. Trains the three-pointer. Number five. The dude's got nine. Mike, this has been a competitive matchup so far. These teams have swapped leads seven times. Oh. And we're not even in the second half. <laughs> now, here's Reed. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. Johnson dishes to Henderson. Just three to shoot. For three. Milwaukee with the rebound. You know, when he has the ball outside like that, that's exactly the kind of D they need to play on. And that one's good, the dude. Tell you what, until they force him off the line, he'll just keep launching it from there. I love the aggression he's showing. As long as he keeps making his threes, there's no reason for him to change his approach. Make the defense adjust. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Even against a ran wrap tight defense like that, you still expect him to knock those down. I don't know. The defense was on him like glue. It would have been quite a bucket, even though we have seen him hit those in the past. Now here's Williams. 17 points in his last outing. 
That's a quality shot right there. It just didn't fall for him. Hey, they don't all end in scores. Great execution, and they're happy time that out, they had out. that kind of a chance. Yeah. This is clearly a man on fire. Was tremendous last game. And that has bled into this game. Just a force on offense. Timeout called the Pacers. Looking at the last game for the Indiana Pacers, it was a win against the Knicks in New York. Henderson passes to Johnson. Johnson with the puck. He could really stretch it and extend. Johnson with some good reach defensively. And another three for Milwaukee. Boy, they didn't waste any time, did they? They got going right away. They obviously had a plan coming in, and they've put it to good use. Now here's Henderson. Williams in the post, covered by Brewer. Oh, that's blocked. And this makes the coaching staff happy. They love when someone like him makes an effort to box out. Great work. Wow, the incredible leaping ability of Johnson. Getting some flair to that dunk. Reed with it. On grief defending. To end the drought. And that's two points on the layup. You don't usually find guards with his height, and he knows how to use him. Here's the dude. Oh, good with the triple. Pacers trail by 11. Read the pass to Henderson. And Gerald Henderson with the slam. Pure will there from Henderson. Powering that bucket in. Here's the dude. Knocks down the three ball. The dude's got 21 in the game. They are really shooting the heck out of the ball. Fantastic start from three. When you knock down threes early, it stretches the floor. It opens everything up. Really insisting on getting to the rim, even against great opposition. Sometimes willpower is better than manpower. He just wanted it more. Hey, it's as plain as pound cake. Keep it simple. They want to see how big this league can get. No such thing as running up the score at this level. James outside on the wing, Williams. Over Brewer. It's good from Williams, the assist by James. Good use of the bounce pass there to set up his teammate. Bucks leading by 11. Here's the dude. And another three for Milwaukee. You would think they were really feeling good in warm-ups because they started this game hot out of the gates. And their shot selection has been excellent. Great patience shown by them. Now here's Henderson. Seven points in the game. Williams kicks to Anderson. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Back to Johnson. Shoots a three. Connects from three-point range. Johnson's got five points so far. Great answer right there. Showing they can knock down the deep ball, too. Lots of room out there for both offenses. Timeout called the Bucks. We've got 128 left here in the first quarter. Here's the dude. And it's sent back by Carter. And they get it back. The dude. Off target with his three. Pacers trail by 11. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. That's pure determination from Henderson. Fantastic job converting through the foul. Williams, he's checked in for the Pacers. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. We're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this league, you have to connect from deep. And they have been so far. Well, how about the transition game, too? I mean, that's been another key for them, moving the ball quickly up the floor. Let's see if they can keep that up. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. This is it to Kellogg. Terrific assist, a nice finish, solid play all around. He finds ways to get by you. Kellogg will get to the rim. 
Here's the dude. No good on the three. Indiana's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Pressy with the rebound. Bucks leading by nine. Here's the dude. The quick look, no good that time. That's a long way out there, but you know it's a shot he knows he can make. Fearless and deadly. They get it again. And Kellogg's teammates and coaches encourage him to be aggressive inside. This is how he draws fouls. This is his first free throw of the game. First free throw is good. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. What's obvious to me is that Kellogg has a mind for the game. He makes good selections and shows a lot of attention to detail on the floor. Macy against Carter. It's blocked. Here's Thornton. With the teardrop. Had a hand on it. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks headed to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. you've enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one when you so both teams making some changes here closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter now here's Reed he's guarded close here's Williams that's a bucket his third of the game he shot the ball seven times Inside, Williams puts his big frame to work and gets himself a close-range look. The dude nailed from three-point land. The dude's got 33. He's so difficult to slow down when he gets that fire in his eyes. Shoots from the elbow. Brewer with the rebound. Brewer's got five rebounds tonight. Fires for three. Reed with the block. Here's Johnson. Right through the D for the layup. Johnson's got seven. Bucks leading by 14. Here's the dude. And again for three. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Up top Reed. Six points for him. Trying his luck from deep. The rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's the dude. And the three off target. That might as well be a layup if you give him that much space. You have to do a better job of taking away space from him, especially when he's lining up at a three. Count that one. Doesn't have much room to operate in there. Nice work getting it to go, though. From outside the arc, Good! Another from three. Some guys just have a knack for getting to the open spot. It's part of what makes him such a dangerous shooter. Here's Reed. Again, Indiana. Here's the dude. He's got 39. Fires the three. Connects again from distance. Three-point shot has been his weapon of choice this quarter. Pacers trail by 19. Here's Reed, and there are the Pacers with another bucket. Miscommunication defensively left him all by himself. Milwaukee's gone four or six from long range in the second quarter. Solid shooting. And that one's good, the dude. Three points. 
152 left now here in the second. The Pacers shooting reasonably well, 45%. Pass to Kellogg. Down low. Here's Johnson. The shot will not fall. Some solid defense from Moncrief. Here's the dude. And another three for Milwaukee. Scoring the ball, he has been lethal and efficient. Wow. So for Milwaukee, their last game, a win against the Bulls. Timeout. So timeout, the Pacers timeout. called timeout, their first of the game. They traveled to Milwaukee Sorry. last time they faced the Bucks, and they came away with a win. Shot selection was the key for them in that last game, in my opinion. We'll see if they can replicate that level of discipline going forward. You know Coach wants him to. The Pacers making a switch here. Henderson's checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Prezi's checked in for Johnson. Brewer with the steal. There's 117 left here in the second. Here's the dude. No good on the triple. That was a great effort defensively, guys. Getting a hand up in the face of the shooter is always an important part of defense. Love the energy on his drive. The defense didn't expect that coming from him. Here's the dude. And another one. Even against tight defense, he's so good from out there. And here's Anderson. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. They are coming into this having notched a win against the Knicks in their last game. Hey, you want to have some road kill, get wins on the road? You've got to shoot the three ball well. And they did exactly that. It's one way to silence the crowd. Now, here's Reed. On grief defending. Henderson passes to Reed. Henderson looking it over. Five on the clock. Tries it from 19. That's good on the jump shot. Henderson's got 12 points in the game. The shots just keep coming for Henderson. He's found a groove and is taking advantage. Here's the dude. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Now Henderson. 12 points for him. They get a hand on it. Here's the dude. And it's in! Oh, wow! He nails the buzzer, Peter! Oh, boy! I can't believe that went in! Those are pretty much three free points. That one had about a 1 in 100 chance. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks in complete command. Their lead at 28 points going into the break. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. And we've got more on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. We're seeing a tremendous game from the dude. All through the first half of play, he was fantastic from range. Totally dialed in. His touch really has been exceptional. And now his team is working to keep finding him those three-point shots. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Three-pointer. The rebound by James. James has got six rebounds now in the game. Johnson finds Henderson. Here's the three. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Johnson. As we close in on the start of the playoffs, let's see how the East is stacking up. You look at the Bucks. Very strong season they've had, always at or, or near the top of the conference. And right now they're in first place in contention for that. Exactly where they want to be as they close in on the postseason. And checking out Indiana. Right now, quite a ways down below. Henderson outside. James, the pass to Reed. 
And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. Milwaukee's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Takes a three. Hits it again. Wow. Showing just how dominant he can be. He's just carrying this offense right now. Henderson right side. And the pass to Williams. Over Brewer. Again, Indiana. Milwaukee with the ball. Here's the dude. Here's Chrissy, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Give Kersey props. He doesn't mind getting hit while trying to score. Milwaukee shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. He hits the second from the line. Third quarter of basketball, we're about a minute and a half in. Up top, Henderson. He's got 12. Inside, Brewer with the steal. Here's the dude. Off target from three-point range. He just keeps firing away from distance. I know he's trying to get himself heated up, but at what cost? Johnson dishes to Henderson. Back to Johnson. Some solid defense from Moncrief. And the defense was ready for that. They know he's a threat at the rim and swarmed him on that layup. It's good on the putback. Nice hustle by Marcus Johnson. Got his timing just right on the offensive boards there. Henderson kicks to Reed. Pass to Johnson. He gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Milwaukee's gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Sinks the triple. 63 points for the dude. Guys, it's a one-man show out there. I mean, he looks like he's willing to handle all of the offensive duties for his team. Releases from 15. Henderson, no good. You look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. The dude misses. For Indiana, they've gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. And they pick up two. Henderson's got 14. And he's trying to carry this offense, but he can't do it alone. His guys need to help him. Timeout called the Bucks. The Buck shooting just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high quality shots. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. The defense has a lot of respect for his shooting ability and showed it with the tight coverage there. And you can see they recognize that. They are not going to give him that shot. And that one is good. 10 points for him. Good recognition. You have the mismatch, go to work. Here's the dude. An absolute bomb from three-point range. The number of the second half are three. They are drilling shots. And that starts with ball movement, putting your shooters in good positions. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Pressy's checked in for the Bucks. Number 25, Paul Pressy. The Pacers have gone 5 of 7 from the field in the third quarter. Let's see if they can keep it up. Now, here's Reed. Defense is right there. Some solid defense from Moncrief. The Buck shooting has just been outstanding tonight. 56% as a team in this game. It's deflected. Henderson against Moncrief. Reed misses. And Milwaukee has possession. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. Here's the dude. That three off the mark. 
Pacer shooting it beautifully here in the third. 56% from the field. Here's Henderson. And once again off the mark by Indiana. The defense willing to concede the mid-range. As the lesser of evils, it paid off there. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. Here's Reed. And he uses the glass on the layup. Reed's got four this quarter. And he's been in the zone so far, getting to his spots and going to town on the defense. That's tipped. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Into the lineup for Indiana. Number 40, Steve Stepanovich. Now here's Henderson. Tight defense on him. James, the pass to Henderson. Misses the three. So it's the Bucks now. From deep three-point land, Stepanovich grabs the miss. That's excellent defense right there on the perimeter. Johnson with the block. And so it looks like the Pacers will retain possession here. Substitution for your Pacers. It's Johnson with the assist that time. Johnson's got four assists in the game. Boy, great job of playing through contact there. Kellogg is tough. Fader on the way. Connects again. And you know, the ability to knock down the mid-range shot can be an equalizer against bigger defenders. Absolutely. Draw them away from the rim where their size becomes a hindrance. And that one, good. Johnson's got 13. A solid point guard. This team is in good hands with Henderson. Here's the dude. And it's off from three-point range. For Indiana, they've gone better than 53% for the floor since halftime. Shooting 8 of 15. Reed finds Henderson. Got a piece of it. Moncrief, the best of the dude. Stolen by Reed. Here's Henderson. And then Henderson with the jam. Pretty healthy vertical Henderson possesses. And on display there, he's only 6'2", but he got up and slammed that one. Here's the dude. And yep, another basket. Let's go. 116 left in the third. Henderson passes to Johnson. Johnson draws it up. Pulls it up. Rebounded by the Bucks. Moncrief's got six rebounds now in the game. From downtown, it's deflected. Kellogg passes to Henderson. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. That's foul number two for him. Second team foul. Substitution on... There's 39 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Carter. A second chance effort. And that one's good, Stepanovich. You've got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. And the Bucks, they're shooting 52% from the floor. Nice work so far from them. And it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And when you're behind in the game, that's what you've got to do. Contest every shot and get stops. Twenty seconds left in the third. And yes, it's good. The dude's got 15 points in just the second half. That's how they drew it up. Great look off the inbounds play to get the score. Here's McKenna. Carter with a screen on Mason. With four seconds on the clock, Williams can't hit. Really good position defensively and a really good shot contest, too. Couldn't have played it any better. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Back to the action in just a minute.
And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And the Bucks with some changes. Brewer is checked in for Mokeski. Moncrief comes in for Foster. And it's the dude in for Macy. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Henderson passes to Reed. Trying to find Johnson. He's got it now. Hey, that one is his seventh of the contest. Seven for 15 from the floor. It took a minute, but they found their form. This run's making the deficit look a lot more manageable. Still going to take a lot of work, but it's not impossible. It's going to take plays at both ends of the floor and a bunch of them. Read the pass to Anderson. It's good. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Poked away. And here we go. Fast break. Anderson's got it. Here's Reed. It's tipped. Here's the dude. There's the double team with Henderson. And the Bucks miss again. Now the pace is with it. They're on a 15-4 run right now. Johnson with it. Henderson outside. Six to shoot. This one for three. As he's checked in for pressing. Third team foul. Into the lineup for the Bucks. Number nine, Jerome Kersey. Bucks leading by 15. High post shot. The dude missing. I wonder if switching baskets really threw him off. I mean, because he can't get anything to fall this half. Took him no time at all on that one. Here's Moncrief. Here's the dude from 13. And the basket good. A bank shot that time. The dude's got 17 points here in the second half. Passes it to James. To the middle. Williams in the post, covered by Brewer. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Bucks. The lead is 15. And that one's good, the dude. You know, having that much defensive attention directed at him only causes him to focus more. He feeds off hitting a three right in somebody's face like that. Here's Johnson. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Personal foul. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. Well, I think they've been lethal from beyond the arc this game. No doubt about it. Hard to defend such spot-on shooting. Also, guys, they put in maximum effort on the offensive glass. Great determination to follow shots and not give up on the possession. And Johnson drops them both. Here's the dude. Launches it. Another bucket! Wow! They appear to have vice grip this one, especially with the clock melting away. They just have to continue to play smart. As long as they do this, they should be able to grab the W here. Timeout called the Pacers. Henderson defense right on him and it goes down two points Johnson's got six in the quarter 153 left in the fourth quarter of this one here's the dude his three pointers off the mark Pacers trail by 17 and slam dunk by Johnson flying up high what a move 
Mike Clark, the elevation. Incredible. I almost thought he was getting too much air. He needs an alternate offensive strategy because the arc is not being kind to him right now. Coming out here tonight and making a statement. Really good work all around for the Bucks. It was raining down threes, coach. A key category to watch tonight. When you hit a lot more threes than your opponents, more often than not, you'll win. And we have watched this team all season long play with such tenacity with the winds piling up on the ear. This will make it now 61 total. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for the dude. Great performance from him. Didn't force shots, took what he was given, very poised. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're up by 16. 104 left in the fourth quarter. A new lineup here for the Bucks, And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. Coach, they're going to take this road win. The fans here tonight will leave disappointed. But for the visiting team, a big one. They stayed sharp when it counted and were able to gut out a win. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For our reporter, David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.